yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah distortion is static. All right, when you're ready. Coming up on Distortion is Static, you're checking out Pep Love. Reconstruction. <laughs> okay, um, so uh, what type of style do you do you bring to hieroglyphics? Then? I mean, if you want to, you know, what type of style? Yeah, like, you know, what do you, like, what's your claim to fame? What do you, what do you take pride in? You know, for how, um, just being, you know, like a raw, raw lyrics. You know, exactly. I would say more experience. <laughs> than just being an MC, just a rapper. We've been doing this for a long time. We put together a whole, you know, as you can see, we put together something here. And, um, hey, hold on for one second. How, just how long have you been, how long have you been rhyming? How long have you been into hip hop? And, you know. Um, I'll say I've been rhyming for like, man, about 15 years. Okay. Since I was in high school, you know, like <clears throat> ninth grade, something like that. Okay, so, so what, what um, motivates you to start rhyming and what's been keeping you going for so long? Um, man, I like hip hop ever since I heard it. You know, I didn't, at first, you know, I was a real young kid, so I didn't think I could actually be a performer myself. I was more just in awe as a fan. And of course, you know, later on I got older and, you know, I actually like, you know, words, writing and stuff like that. And I, um, I heard, uh, I think Eric B and Rakim when I was in the eighth grade, and that was like a new style of, of, of hip hop, really, basically for my ears. And then I heard um, Big Daddy Kane the next year, and it just was like, you know, it was more of a real spine tingling type experience to, to listen to those kind of lyrics. And that, you know, kind of made me, that really, that era of hip hop is what inspired me to, to actually rhyme myself, you know, because I just thought it was so fun, basically. And, um, yeah, from there, just, you know, my style, I think, kind of changed based on my experiences and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Is that too loud? Hey, could y'all turn that down a little bit? So do you have any new projects coming out that, that uh... Yeah, um... We actually went on tour. I, it's already, you know, got a lot of things set up, but um, the name of my, my new album is Reconstruction. Pep Love, uh, it should be coming out this summer, 2004. So, you know, I just gotta, you know, do a few finishing touches and, you know, we gotta get this machine over here working. We got a lot of artists coming out right now. We got uh, Encore, who should be coming out soon, and okay. Souls, and Cash, and, you know, a lot of things are going on, so. Okay, so uh, why the, the title reconstruction for the, for the album? Um, for a number of reasons, you know. This is my second album, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, I think it's kind of like, you know, people really judge you on your second album. You know, a lot of people, you know, it's not, you know, when you're new, it's just like, oh, that's your first, that's tight, you know what I'm saying? You did something, basically. Mm -hmm. And I think your second album, you kind of have to build on that. So, you know, I, I, um, I'm definitely going from the same standpoint that from where I started from with Ascension, uh -huh. but I kind of feel like there's a few things that I uh, want to, you know, straighten out with myself and with people, you know, and how they, you know, basically, you know, what I'm, what I'm showing to people, you know, with my, you know, body of work and just how I present myself, you know what I'm saying, it's a reconstruction in that manner, a reconstruction of, you know, just kind of dealing with the past and bringing, you know, just basically getting rid of it and starting all over again, you know what I'm saying, and, and reconstruction was actually an important period in history where, um, after the Civil War and the slaves were freed and all that kind of stuff, it went down and a lot of militias and a lot of things were going on with, with this country, with black people and you know, it's just like an all-encompassing concept and I thought it was appropriate for this project. Is there, is there a date for that? Was that coming out? No, nah, there's no exact date because the album actually isn't done, but okay. we got, I got some material though. It's all good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, what do you take pride in most as being an independent artist? What do I take pride in the most being an independent artist? Um, I say just, you know, being able to say that we built something that's ours, that we own, you know what I'm saying? And maybe if we do the right, make the right steps, we can be able to pass this on to, you know, our children. And, um, you know, doing it with some with my loved ones, with my you know having some people that we that I you know really got love for that we work together and we built something together and we still are maintaining it. 
and it was a lot of adversity that we went through to actually get to this point, you know what I'm saying? And people, you know, would have easily dismissed us as not even gonna do nothing else, but here we are, you know what I'm saying? And it can't nobody say nothing whether our records is getting played on the radio or not. We're here, we, we ain't died yet, you know, right. we're not going to. Right. So, uh, you know, you guys got the office and t-shirts and you know, you guys got almost everything you can ask for. I mean, are you guys finished with what you're doing, or, or is there a point where you'll say that you that you, you don't let them continue? off the hook that easy, man? <laughs> Come on now, it's only just beginning, man. Right. That's the way I see it. This is nothing. This is a warehouse building. We we want to have something with marble floors eventually. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is just the beginning. Um, this is just the beginning for me creatively as an artist, and I think it's definitely just the beginning for us as business people, entrepreneurs because there's a lot more than just us as far as talent, and there's a lot more ventures in music and in just life that, you know, we move on to. And I think, you know, if we keep our minds active, if I keep my mind active, there ain't really no, no date to when I'm gonna stop doing music, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or especially stop doing, being involved in music. Right, right. So, you know, the sky's the limit, something. Okay. Um, go from the side, yeah. Yeah. This, this is this what I, I asked um, Kaz in this question, but, you know, I see a lot of people just on a daily basis, you know, wearing the, st you know, the t-shirts and the see the stickers on cars. I mean, how Hyrule does that, sticker. yeah, you know, how does that make you feel when you see like a Hyrule sticker on the car or, you know, someone you don't know? You know? It feels good. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. It feels like, you know, like the banner is out there, you know, like not just necessarily for our music, but just for the third eye, you know, being open, people trying to be conscious and be on some, you know, people, are, I think it's a, a next stage in hip hop and just in world consciousness too. Like, people are, are moving on beyond the regular mundane stuff onto something, you know, more expansive and enterprising. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's all good. Um, is there, are there any uh, specific cities that you, that you are fond of or that show you the most love, you know, worldwide or national? cities that you've been to or venues? Um, man, all of them, man. Like, yeah, I can't think of one place where we ain't got no love, you know, like where there's no love. There's been shows where it wasn't a lot of people that, we, that we've that we done, but we've, we've gotten a lot of love every place we've gone. New York City, you know, um, we get a lot of love in the areas like Col Boulder, Colorado, college right. towns and stuff like that. Lawrence, Kansas. I mean, it's, you know, we, we had a, this last tour that we did was, it was moving. We, we, we really, we, I was really, you know, pleasantly surprised about how many, you know, how well it turned out and how many people showed up for the show. So, you know, I really can't complain about any place. Really. It's all good. Um, you got any pet peeves on the Bay Area hip hop scene? Just hip hop scene in general? <laughs> yeah, man, it ain't popping. We need more money. We need more big flashy lights. We need the light to be shining right here on us. Mm -hmm. We need some attention. All them people out on the East Coast, you bourgeois elitists, y'all need to stop hating. <laughs> For real. So what do you think the Bay could do to make it cracking out here? We doing it. Make, we need to make better music though, definitely. We need to be more people making better music, mm -hmm. really get on some national stuff, man. Get off this little local mentality, man. We. It's, it's history here, you know what I'm saying? Movements that came up out of this area that touched the world. So I already know that there ain't, there, this, people saying that, it's, that the Bay Area is too regional, is, that's maybe something that kind of happened, but that's not what we limited to. We got real powerhouses here, for Talk real. about units. Yeah, yeah, move units too. <laughs> move units and then maybe we can holler. <laughs> No, but it's all good though. Everybody can do their thing on their own level and we can get it cracking if we just stick together and the unit needs to have a why behind it, unity. You know what I'm saying? That's what we really need to, to get together and you know what I'm saying, and really make some power moves basically and, and be organized and every enterprise that you that that a person does be serious about it and we all support each other. Basically. You wanna talk more about the album? Oh yeah, we got a new single coming out too. Okay. Hieroglyphics. I'm leaving. What's the name of the song? Make Your Move. <laughs> Make Your Move. That was the original title. Featuring, Featuring Guapale from the Bay. And uh, yeah, watch out for that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be blazing up the radio. We're about to really do something that you ain't never seen done before from an independent group. Check it out. Hieroglyphics.
Right. Uh, do you want to talk about the Good Brothers too at all? Just... Yeah, the Good Brothers. I got a song on that. The video is called "Give It Here," and um, it's a dope song. It's me, AC Alone, and Ahmad from back in the day. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, that's hot. That's on Good Brother compilation. It's, a lot of good brothers on that compilation, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't name them all because there's more brothers on there than I even know. So, um, yeah, go pick that up, AC Long, it's swollen. Um, this is another question I always ask this to people. Um, but do you have a favorite song or a favorite verse that you've done? Or, um, you know, something that you that defines you? Or, you know? Nah, I've yet to do that. Oh, okay. That's, 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 that's in the future. I mean, that's in the present, too. I think I always feel like when I do something, it's always better than the last thing I've done. Mm. That's, the, that's my goal, too. To always be getting better. Otherwise, there's no reason to, to even do this anymore. You know? Always be a student of the game. Definitely. So, yeah. Do you have anything to say to you know, any artists that are up and coming, trying to, you know, because there's artists that are trying to get that, that major label sign and, Artists that are really trying to come up, do you have anything to say to any, you know, any MCs trying to do what they're trying to do? Yeah, um, I don't think uh, battling will get you in the door, man. That's all I gotta say. You cannot battle rap your way into this game. It's not gonna happen. They may say they're gonna give you a deal. That dude, Jen, yeah, he's he's got a video out, but we'll see. I, and he's, I think his stuff is tight, but I don't think you can battle rap your way into the rap game. That's just one thing I noticed. That's my opinion, though. 